So in this video, we will learn how to add Google Ad Leads to HubSpot CRM. Now suppose guys to market or promote your business, you are running some ad campaigns on Google Ads and you want whenever you receive a new lead in your Google Ads campaign, you want to add that same lead as a new content in your HubSpot CRM. Now guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new lead in Google Ads campaign. The action will be adding those same leads as new contacts in HubSpot. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. And now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your own Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Ads to HubSpot. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to connect our Google Ads account with Public Connect so that all the new leads which are generating in our Google Ads campaign, we can get the details or the data of all of those leads inside Public Connect. After that, using Public Connect, we are going to add those leads as new contacts in our HubSpot CRM. So let's begin. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for Google Ads. Select Google Ads and then in trigger event from the drop down, select new lead form entry as a trigger event. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. And now we are going to use this webhook URL to connect our Google lead ad form with Public Connect and get the new lead data inside our Public Connect workflow. So just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. So after copying this webhook URL, go to your Google Lead Ads account, Google Ads account. And after that, from the left side, we can see there are different options out of which there's an the option named as ads and assets. Click on it and click on assets under it. And after that, click on this plus button and click on lead form. Now you can see that here, all the lead forms which I have created in my Google Ads account can be seen over here. And out of which clicking on this create new form button, you can create a new lead ad form. So here you can enter the headline, business name and description of the lead form which you are creating for your Google Ads campaign. Then here you can select the questions which you want to ask to your new leads. And after all of these guys or enter on all of these details, when you will scroll down here, you can see an option named as export leads from Google Ads. And under this, here is another option as other data integration options. And in this option, you can see an option of webhook URL. And here guys, you can paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Public Connect. So you just have to create your lead form and paste the webhook URL over here. Right now in this video, I'm going to use an existing form which I have already created, which is named as travel booking form. Let's open this form. And guys here in this form, I'm basically asking four simple questions from the user, their full name, their email, their phone number and their city. So after creating this lead form in our Google Ads campaign, we just have to scroll down, come to this export leads from Google Ads option, go to webhook section and here guys, we have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Public Connect. Just copy it from here, go to Google Ads and paste it over here. After that, it is asking us for the key. So just enter a random key and then click on send test data. Now guys, because right now I don't have any active, any running campaign on my Google Ads account. That is why we are just going to use this test lead to set up this automation workflow. And when we click on this send test data button, the details or the data of a test lead for this lead form, which we have created in Google ad is been sent to this webhook URL, which means in public connect. So let's get back to public connect. And yes, guys here in public connect, you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of a test lead, which Google ads has sent. So we have a test city. We have a test email address of a new lead. We have a test mobile number. And also we have a test name, the post name and the last name. So we have successfully created this connection between our Google ads and public connect using which whenever in our Google lead form, we receive a new lead, the details of that lead will be sent to public connect. Now, after this guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, we just have to scroll down, come to this action window. And because we want to add these new leads as contacts in HubSpot CRM, 
Here in Choose app, we are going to search for HubSpot CRM. Select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select create a contact. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our HubSpot CRM account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with HubSpot CRM button. And guys, because I have already logged into my HubSpot account in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account. Here we just have to select the account over here, click on choose account and then just scroll down and we will see that the connection is done. So in this way, you can connect your HubSpot CRM account with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, here it is one by us asking us the details of the contact which we want to add in our HubSpot CRM account. So here it is asking us company size, date of birth, degree. So here are lots and lots of fields as you can see. And many of those fields, we don't have the details or the data for most of these fields. So what we are going to do, we are just going to ignore these fields for now. So we will scroll down and here we will see the details or the fields of first name, last name, email and city. And we are going to add the details or the data to those particular fields. So we are just going to scroll down and yes, here we have the field of first name. So guys, we have to basically map the first name of the user of the contact which we want to create over here and last name over here. So what we are going to do, so we have received the response of the name of the new lead. But in that response, you can see that we have a collective response of first name and last name. So we have to break this name. We have to split this name in two responses of first name and last name. And to do so, we are going to use a feature of Pavli Connect and that is text formatter. So just scroll down, click on this add action step button. And here in choose apps, we have to search for text formatter. Select text formatter. After this, in action event from the drop down, select split text the action event. Click on connect. Now the first thing it asks us is text to split. That what is the text which we want to split? So we want to split this response of name of the new lead. So we are, uh, we are going to map this response of name of the lead over here in this field. Just click here and in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new lead which we have received from Google Ads. And out of all of these responses, select the response of value of the name and map it over here. Then it is asking us for the separator. So separator will be the space between the first name and the last name. So we are enter space as a separator in this way in double curly braces. And at last, it is asking us for the segment index. So in segment index from the drop down, select all and click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, guys, here you can see that we have received our response. And in this response, we can see the first name and the last name of the user are two separate response, two different response. So using this text format as split text, we have successfully separated the first name and the last name from the full name response. And we have used space as a separator. We told this text formatter that we want the response of space before the space, the text before the space and text after the space. After getting this response, let's one by one map this response of name in HubSpot CRM. Just scroll down and we will go to the field of first name. So here it is. Just click here. And guys, because we have introduced, we have added a new step, a new data before this step, what we have to do, we have to first reconnect our HubSpot CRM account. Just click on this connected button, select existing connection and just click on save. So we just have to reconnect our HubSpot CRM account with Pavli Connect because we have added a new data, a new step before it. Now, after that, let's scroll down to first name and then map this data of first name over here. So here we have the first name, click here and in the drop down from the responses, which we, we can see under text formatter, select the response of first name and map it. Now, after this, just scroll down and here in last name from the text formatter responses, we are going to map the response of last name. Then we are going to scroll down and here we have the field for email. So we have also received the email address of the new lead from Google Ads. So just map the response of email and then we have to map the phone number. Click here and from the drop down, select the response of phone number and map it. At last, we have to map the city. So this is the field of city and from the responses, map the response of city. So in this way, all the data, all the fields which you get, all the details of a new lead you get from Google Ads, one by one, you can map all of those details in these fields of HubSpot CRM. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. 
and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the lead whose details we have mapped over here, basically the test lead whose response Google had sent to us is been added as a new contact in our HubSpot CRM. So let's check it. We will go to a HubSpot CRM. We will go to contacts page. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same user with the same post name, same last name, same email and same mobile number is being added as a new lead, as a new contact in our HubSpot CRM. Now, this means, guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to get a new lead from our lead form in Google Ads, we are automatically going to add that lead as a new contact in our HubSpot CRM. So guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. And also let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.